Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Just Bread, and I hope you are having a fantastic 4th of July, uh, Independence Day. Uh, well, at least if you're in America. If you don't live in America, the 4th of July means nothing to you. Uh, but in the U.S., it does. Anyway, this is going to be a quick little video about uh, creating a Git repository and uploading it to GitHub uh, from Xcode. Uh, this is pretty cool. I, if you use, if you don't use Git, then you need to learn how to use Git because Git is a lifesaver. It really helps with collaboration and uh, keeping track of changes that you've made to uh, your code and stuff. Here's a project that I've been working on for over a year now. I've had an older version, then I redid the code because that's what a lot of software developers do when they feel like their code is too ugly and not structured well. They just rewrite it. Maybe back in August, I started working on this version of uh, this game. I, it was called uh, Falling Up. You can see here, it was called Falling Up at first. When I became a certified developer for Apple, I tried to use Falling Up in iTunes Connect, but Falling Up was already taken, so I had to switch to Unreal Gravity. So that's something. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, I'm creating this uh, this app. I'm I'm getting it to a point where I want to release it to the App Store pretty soon, but uh, I still have quite a bit to do. It's on test flight. This is kind of like a shameless plug for my app. Go download my app. It's it's pretty good. UnrealGravity.JasperRedden.com. You have to register for it first because it's not on the App Store yet. It's on um, a sketchy app called Test Flight. It's provided by Apple, so don't worry. It's not that sketchy. Now that the uh, shameless plug is uh, over, I I'm going to init this Git repository. Yeah, it's really easy to do this from Xcode. Go to Source Control and then Create Working Copy. If when you go to Source Code, uh, Source Control and all of these are not grayed out you can like push commit and push or also if uh, there's like m's and a's on the sidebar here on the left then you've already initialized your git repository so you don't have to do that but if you created your project without initializing a git repository you have to go ahead and do this click create and it says creating a local git repository a local because it's only on your machine with GitHub, you need your little desktop for Mac application. It's available at desktop.github.com. Now what you're going to do, you're going to go to File, Add Local Repository, and then you're going to browse to your project. Your project folder, actually. Uh, well, I'm actually already there. All right, that's open. I'm going to add. Okay. So, uh, you can see all the history, uh, it's the initial commit, there's so many files here. To publish this to GitHub, go ahead, click Publish Repository, I'm going to name it Unreal Gr whoops. Gravity, uh, can't have, I don't think you can have a space in it, description, I don't know. That's pretty cool. You don't want to keep the code private unless you're willing to pay like seven bucks a month for the uh, the little premium features of GitHub. So, and then you don't make sure you don't have an organization organization. And click publish repository. Shut up! My phone just went off, and I'm trying to record a freaking video. It's pushing. As you can see, it's actually uploading all of the game files right now. Alright, so this was just pushed to Origin, and it's right here. You can see you have following up all of your files. Alright, so I just made a change uh, on my file. And I kind of screwed it up right here, but most of these files, they used to say 2016, but it's 2017 and I'm still working on it. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to call this copyright 2016 through 2017. So to commit, just go ahead and go to source control, click commit. Uh, and you're just saving another change in the repository. Uh, if you need to go back to it, you can go back to it. Or if you need to look at a version history, you can do that if you're trying to make a new version history for the app store. We need to add all these files. So I'm going to go ahead 
make sure all these are selected. All the files that uh, you want to commit are selected because if you don't, they're not going to be tracked. All right, so uh, if you just want to commit, you can, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but if you want to commit and then update, it's like sync it with a GitHub repository, go ahead and click push to remote. That's going to be pretty important. All right, it's committing and it's pushing. See, look at this. I'll have to enter in my username and password for this. I have the best username on GitHub and the best password, but I can't really tell anybody that. All right, so that was that. If we go back to Safari and we refresh, you can see that it says updated copyright. If you click on this right here, you can see the changes that we made. All of these files, just the op updated copyright. It's pretty straightforward. So if you're collaborating with someone else, be sure to commit your changes frequently and push them to the remote as well as fetching from remote as well in case like other people have made changes. You don't want to have merge conflicts because that's a nightmare, especially with Xcode and uh, interface builder files like storyboard files. That is a nightmare. You have just screwed up that uh, storyboard if you have a merge conflicts. All right, hopefully that made sense. And if not, then I'm just going to hide in a corner. All right, have a good day. Enjoy your fireworks if you're blowing crap up. Have fun with that. I got to go edit my vlog. All right, bye.